Well, this was quick. Where am I? Oh yes, this is the tree. So, Blockster, what do you think of my hiding place? Yeah, a green bush in a blue desert. What could go wrong? Shush, it's not as obvious as all that. Hey, Paco! In the bush! I know I'm miles away, but I just wanted to say hello! Uh, anyway, I gotta get back to work. Let me know if the announcer spots me. Uh, uh. Ooh, I wonder if you're bored. So hard to read you sometimes, Block Dude. Sorry, but all you've done since X recovered you is just watch the talking metal box. Well, it's easy. True. It's easier now that I have my hiding spot. Oh, hello, Taco. Oh, and hey, Blocky and Woody. Sorry I didn't see you two at first. Everyone just can see Taco. Anyway, I mean, can you blame me for watching him? For nine years he was gone, and now he's just back? For what reason? Why return at the end of the game? And why waste our budget? Well, you have a hunch he's wasting the budget. You don't know that. Stop being on the boring squad and join the Woodster and I on a brand new prank. Hey guys, Blocky and Woody here. For today's prank, get a bunch of magnets and... Yeah? No, I don't want to. Put them on the announcer. Uh, what was that about? Okay, Talkster. We're gonna need to get you a new nickname. Well, I personally like Talkster. Who would ever actually call me that, though? Talkster is just weird. Hello, Talkster. Everyone can just see. Everyone just nice. Taco is just jinxing everything. Also, you other two. Taco, I uh, announced yep. you might have spotted you in the world. Final three. Welcome to Cake at Steak. As a prize for making it to the final three, I have decided to gift you all with a makeover to the bus. It is now made out of gold. Gold? What did I say, Blocky? It could be like fake gold or something. Come on, it's TV trickery. It only cost about $3 million. My argument is falling apart. At this monumental cake at stake, I wanted to top last episode's cake with a silver medal. That's not better. Just for that, you're getting a bronze medal for winning immunity. Fling. Whatever. Medals are temporary, but... I just like how that just meddles. My business is forever! You jealous skeleton! With this 50,000 bucks, I'm gonna put together the best store anyone has ever seen! I own a steakhouse chain. Oh yeah, well, we'll have something even better! Oh, a skyscraper! My place will have a steak skyscraper! Gelatin, teardrop, one of you is leaving the game. We knew this was coming, but it's still sad for this alliance to come to an end. It's been so fun working with you, Teed, sir. Check out this massive cinema screen I purchased. Pre He's just buying everything for like billions of dollars or pounds or whatever you live. Cool, right. Anyway, let's share the votes. Time for a drum roll, which I paid way over the necessary amount for. How is that going on the TV screen? Hi, shots. And many teardrops are shed, as our favorite little teardrop is eliminated with only 28,906 votes. No bias, of course, but teardrop, you have always been my favorite. You played a great game, and getting to the final three of any season is a magnificent feat. Yeah! Third is very cool! You should be very honored! Shush, why do you think it's time for you to talk right now? Just say your catchphrase. Yeah, okay. There we go. Anyway, thank you for playing teardrop. Here is a copper medal for your troubles. Well, where are all these medals coming from? Great question, Bubble. Just for that, you get a platinum medal. And for being such a gracious host, I get a diamond medal. Stop getting all those medals! Stop giving out medals! For being rude, here is a wooden medal. Thank you! But also, what are we doing now? Is there a vote or a final challenge? Well, under normal circumstances, we just end the episode here and let the viewers vote the winner. But I have unfortunate news. BFB is cancelled. <laughs> are you joking? Why? Budget cuts. More like he wasted the budget. Told you something fishy was going on. Ho, ho, ho. Usually I tell you to stop freaking out, but this is very scary news. I myself am going to begin screaming. Huh. 
Anyway, I guess none of you win the PFDI. How unfortunate. Darn. Oh no. This sucks. How sad. It hikes. No. Uh, is the glorious PFB still up for grabs? I want to see my cool little beatboxing skills again. Oh, uh, no. I guess you don't win that either. So, uh, yeah. BF. No. B is cancelled. Goodbye, everyone. So you're just leaving? BFB is really cancelled? And check out, guys. Announcer wasn't lying. This laptop says we have about $300 left in the budget. We're about to lose the whole show. But that means we have time, right? If we have a few hundred dollars, maybe we have time to raise some more and keep it going. X, yo, announcer blew our whole budget. We need your help to save the show. What's the point? Four is gone, and the show is also gone without him. I miss little 44. He never ran into large budgetary issues. He's been the only one close to finishing a season of the show in years. And all of you sent him away. Well, he's in the ground or something. It's unclear. Regardless, I'm not helping. Listen to me, folks. I have a history in app- No! Advertising guys, I know how to make money. I have the ultimate plan. Have you all- Yellow faces ads. Get in the bus. Anything purple must be at least slightly on the right page. I'm in. Better to try something than nothing. Come on, BFB game, let's save the day. Darko, you coming? No, I'm going to keep watching the announcer and find out what he's up to. Hey, what's the point? This may be the last thing we all do together. Don't waste it alone. Well, I'm going to. I need to find out what's happening. Bye, Blocky. <sighs> Good luck. So, where are we heading, purple guy? <laughs> You'll see any moment. I like this. How does my lip sync? One week and a day later. Also, I'm stroking my cat, George. Stop. Okay, the golden bus was slower than expected, but here we are. An abandoned TV studio. So what exactly is the plan here? Well, 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 my new assistant. We're going to put on the best show ever, take donations, and hopefully put together a budget big enough for the grand finale. You guys like challenges, right? Well, here's the ultimate challenge. Him. Let's camera action. Welcome. Who's that recommended character who has a chance to debut again? In Teapot, I forgot. The purple face for Variety Hour. It's time to save the B. Yo, I'll start the intro. Uh, what? Uh, uh, what's going on? I just like how there's no four. I actually feel bad. The show's cancelled and there's a 23 minute. <laughs> so, and they have to try out how to save BFP. And that is just scaring me. But they're doing it in the stupidest ways ever. What makes me laugh. You're not ruining this, ruining, ruining this for me. I can't speak English. Oh my word! Welcome one, welcome all to the Purple Face Interview Show. Mm. Today, we're interviewing our finalists. Gelatin, are you proud of yourself for getting to the finale? Of course. I'm not exactly a guy who can win immunities, so getting here regardless has been very rewarding. I'm very proud of myself. And you should be. And Flower, now, are you proud of me? What? For what? Ooh, bad answer, Flower. You look like a real jerk there. Viewers, take note of that. So, Gelatin, tell me your entire life story. Go. <laughs> Everyone wants to know, don't they? All right, from the top. Hey, guys, good old Blocky here for a prank. Suspend eggs over a cliff and set Gelatin on fire. Woody! Go! Push gelatin into fiery! No! 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 Ah! Uh, not exactly how I saw this prank going in my head. I'm very uncomfortable, and I feel like I just witnessed an awkward moment. Can I please leave? 
What the? Him not here. Dread not here either. What's the announcer doing? What on four is he doing? And then I ate like 15 burgers in one whole sitting. 15! And then what happens, Jellyhead? I mean, it's a pretty gross answer. It's only public access television. Go ahead. That looks like it might go on for quite some- Oh no, Jellyson says he's gonna probably say he gives him a puke. Time. Hey, Woody, you doing okay, buddy? Hi. Hi. Yeah. You don't like pranks, do you? <sighs> No. Woody, if you just did pranks and stuff to impress me, don't worry about it. I think you're cool. You don't need to pretend to be someone else for me to like you. I gave you my show because I believe in you. And also because contractually I'm banned for quite some time for making it purely by myself. But Woody, I'm sure there's something else we can make together. Yeah? Yeah! Not good. Not good either. Wait, never mind. Jackpot. I knew you were up to something. What do you think you're doing, Buckster? Forehead, my precious BFDI. I found it, and I'm taking it back. Not on my watch, you're not. Him, it was easier when you were zapped away. Where's my little laser thingy? Eat. So, Gelatin, what is your favorite thing about BFDI? Meeting so many fabulous people, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. And Flower, what is your favorite thing about my mustache? Give me the same questions as Gelatin right now! You answer the question! He doesn't even have a freaking mustache! You don't have a mustache! <laughs> What? Are you joking? What is this? I thought I have always had one. I've never looked into the mirror. That's it. We're moving on to our next segment. Sing it for me, gelatin. La la, a happy purpley. I, I don't know. I guess I have to do everything around here, don't I? It's time for purple faces torture time with the f, -f, -f flower. Today, Flower will be stuck in this fun tank. Hooray! This is torture. I'm not scared of tanks. This is fine. Oh, yeah? Look near your feet, little flower pot. There's a bug. I've been working on that, too. I've literally held a bug recently. I've been making great strides getting over my fear of bugs. You might be fine with one, but how about 500 of them? How about that? What? Dear Soil, please no. Here they come, viewers. Wait, what? No! I don't want this! Help! <laughs> I can't help you! Yes! Let me out of here! Flower! Hey, not now, Woody! There's bugs everywhere! Ah! Power! Breathe in and out! Ah. Okay! <laughs> so I like how we can understand Woody because he he just spoke random gibberish. Better? I yeah, thanks Woody. And this is still the worst thing ever, but uh, this definitely makes me feel better. Thank you. Woody, that was amazing. I'm so proud of you, bro. And I have an idea. Viewers, thank you so much for watching the first episode of my good friend Woody's new show. Woody's Fear Destroyer International. Got a fear? Contact us and Woody will help you take care of it. Please help me get out of here now. Please. Smile for the camera, flower. We've all heard of things hey, when like was 5G, that artificial intelligence, the cloud. 1, 000, but what does 1, it all mean? One. Or George. <laughs> okay, Announzo, start talking. Or I can break you apart. Just like that zapper. Why don't you trust me? I knew you were wasting the money. I saw it for myself. You gave Flower $50,000 for literally no reason. Well, it's too late for anything to be done now. The budget is depleted. BFB will become yet another incomplete season. Yeah, but why? What's the point of any of this? None of your business. Really? You sure about that, little speaker? Fine. What do you want to know? Okay, so we got a donation update. That's great. How much did... Twelve dollars. What? I don't think you know how to run anything like this. Oh, yeah? And how would you know, huh? Huh. I guess you're right. Hooray! But fine, truthfully, this isn't going as well as I thought. We need money pronto. Gelatin, we need a new act right now. Don't you worry, little purple speck of joy. I've had this great idea locked away for a while. 
Here are all the different ways I can pronounce my name. Gelatin. 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 Now this is good television. Yay! Go gelatin! Wait, anyone can do that. Move it, Jelly Boy. There's a new star in town. Here are different ways to pronounce my name. Flower. Flower. Well, what the? Give me a chance. Flower. Flower. Throw another pot at her. Please, it'll be funny. Cut it out. Get off the stage. Oh, what the? Twenty-six. <laughs> I don't know. I just watched this. Four petals say. What? Not the bug! Oh dear God! In there! Stop, buddy! Help, buddy! I need you. Uh, can we go help her now? <laughs> no. I want to know why you took the BFB. I don't really care about the BFB all too much. But the BFDI, that's the real treasure. Why wouldn't I want it? I mean, sure, the BFDI is cool, but is it this cool to warrant this feeling? You know, after all these years of battling, I'm not even sure I want it anymore. Look at it. <laughs> See? I told you, everyone wants it. Little update, Purple Man. The audience liked the flower thing. We earned four whole dollars from that. That's better than nothing, right? Four dollars? We started with 300. We're down to our last 50. Now, no, sorry, 54. Yay! That's the spirit. Always look on the bright side of things. We are about to get turned off forever. Leafy, this is bad news. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe this whole TV idea was terrible. Oh, purple page. It was, but that's okay. We can figure something out. Oh, I know. How about we split our show into two shows? Oh, wait. We already did that. Did... Yeah, in BFB 16, I remember that now. Didn't we? I have the winning idea right here, Purple Bro. Welcome to my show. Why, I deserve the prize of this and all seasons. <gasps> give it to me. I deserve it. Hand it over. I want it. I need it. Please give it to me. The prize I want it. I need it. I need it. I'm begging for it. Please give it to me. Don't no, worry. You got this, buddy. Purple man, how much has this one earned us? I don't even know how this is possible, but someone donated minus dollars. We gave them money. We're down to thirty dollars. Oh, my scribble. This is pointless. Give me the details, man. You want the BFDI? So what? Why leave for nine years and just come back? Uh, what, um, oh, I've got it. Hey, Taco, what if I told you I've been here all along? Oh, spooky. Let me explain. Remember back at Final 14, where if you moved the camera to the right, Profiley was there? Well, if you panned to the left instead, I was there all along. Hey, guys, what's up, skaters? Thanks for your lie, but it's not getting by me, little Spico. Everyone heard you returning to Earth a few months ago. Yikes. Caught in my lies. Fine. I'll tell you the real story. BFDI ended, and despite losing money producing the season, I managed to regain most of our lost assets due to Leafy's purchasing of Dream Island. It looked like an end to BFDI, but I wanted it to continue. Budget or not, I fixed myself back up and returned to Earth. Wait, you were on Earth all along? Be quiet. I'm telling my story. I wanted BFDI to continue. I contacted TV to put together the voting for a new season. Then I put together a list of BFDI game rules and launched it from afar. Hey, what's this? BFDI game rules. I tried to run a season without being noticed. Luckily, the contestants always found themselves bickering and arguing. I was able to set up a wheel of challenges for the season. You know, to make sure things didn't drift too much off course without me. I padded the prize wheel and challenge wheel for an entire season's worth, but it quickly descended into chaos. I had to begin spending again to create a personal speaker box for Puffball, and just when I thought my limited budget couldn't be stretched any thinner, everyone kept dying. I had to spend the last of my savings on an HPRC to revive the contestants and keep the competition afloat. But I must say, during my time in the wings, I kept myself pretty incognito. Even when I thought I was caught, I managed to evade questioning. What the? Speaker box? Why are you back? Uh, no, I'm not the speaker box. I'm a tree. See? 
swish, swish, fish, fish. Works for me. But all good things must come to an end. The FDIA ended production, and in turn, I returned home. Until suddenly, I was caught off guard by another season of BFDI, and then I saw those two, the ones who stole my show. They took my creation, my project, and then he went too far. They offered up my most beloved treasure. Don't you want to battle to win a prize? Well, what is the prize? A BFDI. They took my show. They stole my work. They took my BFDI. I waited for my moment to take it all back, waiting for the cast to dwindle. When fortunately, that process was sped up for me. When two arrived, 40 contestants left, and as the cast shrunk, I planned my return. The final four seemed like the perfect time to return to Earth. Barely any pushback, I took back my show. I own BFDI once again, and now I own BFB. And now it's cancelled. And since it's cancelled, no one can win this BFDI from me. It's mine. Forever. Announcer, we've been battling for three years for it. Come on. You need to hand it back to- BFDI was only two years. To us, we've earned it. It's too late anyway. It's rightfully mine. Again. What the- What happened to us? Ha uh, ha. Uh, looks like the budget has finally ran out. BFB is about to end forever. No! No! I gotta warn the others right now! Good luck. Um, that did that sound as sarcastic as I wanted. I'm not wishing you good luck is basically what I'm trying to say. Bad luck, I suppose. Yeah, that works. Guys! Guys! Announcer just confirmed to me. BFB is about to end. We have just moments to save it. Quick! No oh, gosh! Anyone got any last minute act or season ideas? Anything at all? What if, uh, what if two never showed up and we continue BFB 16 like normal? Would people like that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, whoa, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Fine! Whatever! You guys are too fast for me! I guess Loser and Spongy can just rejoin the game! <laughs> What? Are you serious? We've been battling for so long, and you're just going to change the game rules mid-season? Danny is right. That's it. Four's not good at hosting, guys. I say this exact group of 40 of us should leave this show, and that group of exactly 14 can continue battling. Sounds good to me. Wait, no. Stop. Don't leave our show. You know how proud I am of you. Phew. Luckily, that never happened. That timeline sounds so weird. Oh, gosh! Look at us now! I think this is the end, Fiery! Right now! Why on all days does this have to happen today? I just want to go to bed. Okay, we need ideas now, folks. Or else... I just want to go to bed. <laughs> okay, Fiery, shut up. No cares. So everyone will forget me. I mean, us again. No! Does anyone have any money they can give to the show? I got my box of paper slips, but I think the budget is too low to even write anything on them anymore. It's okay, guys. We tried our best. That's all we can do. Spongy's right. Last ditch effort. Does anyone have any money? <gasps> Flower, you! Huh? You, you have $50,000, right? But that's for my business, not for BFDI. This is for BFB. If you don't save the show, We've all been battling for no reason. But it's my dream to... Uh, wait, hasn't it been a dream of yours to get to the end of a BFDI season? You're so close, Flower. Just do it. Don't be selfish. Please, Flower. Don't let our competition end like this. Uh, now we look even worse. Do you even think I, Purple Brown, could possibly look any worse? Flower? No, it's just the storyboard. Hurry! Oh, my God. Okay, Flower, you can always expand your business some other time. Maybe we could work on a business together. Yeah, I guess you're right, little Jello. Congrats on making it to the final two, buddy. Thanks for saving the day, final two. Any chance I can get a thanks for my TV idea? Hello? Well, you lost nearly five. You lost nearly 400. Whatever. I guess you saved BFB. Great. You should all pat yourselves on the back, or whatever, and in turn, 
since the season is uncancelled, you'll still be in the battle for a BFB and a BFDI. Cool. Not like I care. Flower and gelatin. The final two. Two underdogs. A have not and a have cut. Immunity beast versus someone who tries at immunities. A first boot versus the only contestant to never have been eliminated in BFDI. It all comes down to this. Viewers, voters, fans, subscribers, and others. Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and thanks for watching BFB29. I can't believe we're at our final two now. That's like gelatin and flour. Um, it looks like we have a giant teardrop family reunion happening right there, which Woody must be a huge fan of, because he knows rain will improve the ecological health of plant life and the environment, of course. But yeah, thanks for watching this episode. Dozens of people put a lot of hard work into it, and I hope to see you in the finale of BFB next episode. Okay, oh, also, don't forget to vote by typing the letter of the character you want to win in square brackets and posting as a comment on this video. Goodbye! Good luck on the Windflower. You too, Jelly Man. Say, he's been gone for a while. I wonder when Fuller's coming back. Uh, uh Flower, what on four did you just do? Nothing. I didn't think I did anything. What the? Flower, what happened? What do we do? What the pedal was that? This is very interesting, I have to admit. Hey, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. I hope you see, see you soon. Bye.